For any parent, the thought of losing a child is unbearable. The thought of losing two children to the same rare heart disease is beyond what most of us are willing to even contemplate. But it was from a trial just like this that the Children's Cardiomyopathy Foundation would be born. For Lisa and Eddie Yu, it all began in 1999 when their son Brian died suddenly of undiagnosed hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. He was only 11 months old. Lisa and Eddie went on to have a second son, whom they named Kevin. Even though all the ultrasounds looked good before he was born, shortly after his birth, Kevin was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy also. Although they were armed with a better understanding of the disease that took Brian, they were still unprepared for what would come next. Kevin was listed for a heart transplant, but died at just nine months of age while still waiting for a new heart to become available. Throughout their entire ordeal, Lisa and Eddie were dismayed to find only limited information about cardiomyopathy, very few specialists in the disease, and no family support groups. These staggering losses left the U's committed to finding answers and funding research for a cure. They moved through their grief and established the Children's Cardiomyopathy Foundation, or CCF, in 2002. The vision of CCF is to create a future of hope in which pediatric cardiomyopathy can be detected earlier and any affected child can be cured to live a full and active life. Since its conception in 2002, CCF has overseen the commitment of nearly $1 million in new funding for research. They have helped to launch over 16 research studies and encouraged over 45 scientific papers to be published. CCF has grown to become an international source for information on pediatric cardiomyopathy. They're helping to educate medical professionals, researchers, and affected families. CCF's network now includes 2,000 doctors and over 800 families in 35 countries. They're raising the profile of this disease so that it's beginning to get the attention it desperately needs in the medical community. Finally, CCF fosters a cohesive and caring community of pediatric cardiomyopathy families. No one should have to go through this alone, and CCF provides an environment where affected families can share resources, tips, encouragement, and hope. Evangeline was born in March of 2007 and then was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy in June. Initially, the doctors dismissed her symptoms as a bad case of the flu, but when I demanded that they take a closer look, they decided to take a chest x-ray to rule out pneumonia. They quickly discovered a severely enlarged heart, and so our journey began. We were whisked to the intensive care unit, and we would be in and out of the hospital for the rest of the year, often for weeks at a time. 
Evangeline has a relatively severe case of dilated cardiomyopathy. Her heart is only able to move about a third of the normal amount of blood with each pump. Consequently, her heart is working overtime around the clock. Doctors have described it as continually running a marathon and always feeling like you have the flu. Complications from her heart condition would cause us to spend time in intensive care, receive blood transfusions, undergo uncountable numbers of tests, and even undergo emergency surgery on Evangeline's intestines. In between hospital stays, we have struggled with feeding, medicines, adverse reactions to medications, and trying to help Evangeline develop and grow. Evangeline's weak heart causes her to be tired all the time, so much so that she eventually gave up on eating. We had a feeding tube placed in January of 2008. I remember wishing and barely daring to pray that I could come into contact with someone who had experienced what we were going through with Evangeline. Discovering the Children's Cardiomyopathy Foundation was an almost indescribable blessing. To suddenly have access to a whole community of people who understood exactly what we were going through and to be able to tap into that wealth of knowledge and experience has been totally invaluable. Literally every day that I have time, I can get onto the CCF forums and exchange tips, ask questions, and give and receive encouragement from, from other families in the same situation. Not only is CCF doing amazing work on research, they provide the desperately needed link for us to stay informed, involved, and supported as we struggle to provide the best life possible for our daughter. Even with treatment, Evangeline's heart still only moves about one-third of the normal amount of blood with each pump, and a transplant remains a very real possibility. We continue to face enormous challenges and struggles every single day, but not a day goes by where Josh and I don't thank God for the wonderful group of truly caring people at the Children's Cardiomyopathy Foundation. Help us raise awareness. Despite the increasing prevalence and high mortality rates, cardiomyopathy remains widely unknown. The more people know about it, the more likely it is to become a priority for research and study. Support our local children's hospital at Sacred Heart. We have a wonderful resource in Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, and they provide top-level care for kids with issues of every kind. Become an organ donor. The average waiting period for a heart transplant in America is 230 days. Each year, 20% of diagnosed children who are listed for a heart transplant die before a heart becomes available. Please donate to the critical work of the Children's Cardiomyopathy Foundation. Your donations will make a difference in the lives of kids with cardiomyopathy.